सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुतिस्मृति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाजरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति भागिनी व्योमोद्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहना सहन भुन सह वीरकर वाहय तेजस्वीनावधी तुम्हिषा वही ओं शांत शांत शांति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात्य प्रकृति धातु ब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चेधिनी I think we did the twenty-fifth verse. Kincha mana pamana yo stulya stulyo mitra ripakshayo ho sarvaramba parichay gunati ita sauchite. Who is gunati ita? Jivan mukta or there are other words used in the second chapter as well. Yes. So those are we covered those. Um, let's look at the next verse. Who wants to take the next verse? I I can take this seventy six. Okay. Aduna, aduna katham chetrin guna niti guna guna nati vartate. प्रश्न से प्रतिवचन आह सो अधुना कथम चीन गुणा अतिवर्तते हाउ डज दिस गुणातीत जीवन मुक्त ज्ञानी कथम केन प्रकार इन विच वे डज ही रिमेन बाय क्रॉसिंग ओवर द गुणास इत्यस्य प्रश्न से विच वॉज लास्ट By Arjuna, Prati Vachanam. Aha, answer. Bhagwan gives the answer. What is the answer? Yeah. Maam chayo vya bichare na bhakti yoga na sevate saguna samati yaitan Brahma bhuya ya kalpate. So the Pratishtha is Maam cha yaha avya bichare na bhakti yoga na sevate saha gunan. प्रथम एक वचन समुष एक वचन ईवन कलते अव्यचारेण तृतीय एक वचन भक्ति तृतीय एक वचन सह अगेन प्रथम एक वचन गुणा द्वितीय बहुवचन सामती अव्यय सामती एतान अगेन द्वितीय बहुवचन कल्पते ब्रह्म भूयाय इज एक्चुअली चतुर्थी चतुर्थी और पंचमी चतुर्थी एक वचन I have added avya vichare na bhakti yoga na cha. Avya vichare na then the akanksha is how. So katham avya vichare na. Avya vichare na. Yeah. Bhakti yoga na. Yoga na. Cha. 
शिव इज नॉट नीडेड सह कल्पते देन कल्पते ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते दैट इज मीनिंग या सो दैट इज द एंड रिजल्ट बट हाउ देयर इज अस्तुनान समति एतान गुणान समति इत्य एतान गुणान समति इत्य दीस गुणान व्हिच हैव बीन मेंशन हैविंग क्रॉस्ड ओवर या ही कल्पते ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते बिकम्स रेडी टू अटेन ब्रह्म भाव दट आइडिया वी सी मोर इन दि भाष्य सो मां चु इज दट मी ईश्वर नारायण सो ईश्वर मां चश्वर नारायण सर्वूत हृदयाश्रित यो यति कर्मी व्यभिचारेण न कदाचि यो व्यभिचरति भक्ति योगेन भजन भक्ति सैव योग तेन भक्ति योगेन सेवते सो मां चश्वर ईश्वर इज नारायण हू इज सर्वूत हृदय आश्रित हि इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑल हृदय हाउ ऑल हृदय ऑफ ऑल भूत हाउ एज साक्षी रूपेण दैट कैंड ऑफ अ नारायण ईश्वर येवते हू इज दैट यज यति हियर और कर्मी ईदर यति ही हु इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन एनी कर्म कर्म फला और अ कर्मी हु इज इंटरेस्टेड इन कर्म एंड कर्म फला इधर ऑफ दीज देन हाउ इट इज सेवते सो सेवते और भजते हैव द सेम मीनिंग बिकॉज भज सेवायाम भज धातु इज इन द मीनिंग ऑफ सेवा सो सेवते भक्ति एंड सो देयर सेवते इज एक्सप्लेन देन भक्ति योगे न थ्रू भक्ति What kind of bhakti? That is avyabhichari bhakti. So avyabhichari na bhakti yogi na na kada chit. So what is av na vyabhicharati? Iti avyabhichara. So that na vyabhicharati. That is the explanation of the avyabhichara. Yaha vyabhicharati and then na is here. Kada chit. Not even once in a while. Continuously stays in one thing. Therefore, avya bichare na. That is bhakti yoga. So that kind of bhakti yoga, not equal to here. Avya bichare na is na kadachit yaha avya bicharati. Bhakti yoga na. What is bhakti? Bhajanam is bhakti. So bhajanam means bhakti. Sa eva yoga ha. Bhajanam is we have seen earlier also. This is ludanta, this is tinanta. That's the only difference. What is being explained is bhajana is not the uh, the regular meaning in uh, regional languages. We have bhajana means you know singing songs, dancing, not that bhakti. Here it is bhakti. It it can include that also, but it is not that bhajana only. it may or may not be with or with it may or may not be with bhajana which is the regional language meaning this is bhaja seva aya or bhajana is what basically it is showing bhakti is tinanta can have this thing. the karmani utpatti vaya di tin pratya you know other kinds of utpattis are possible bhajana shows that it is भावे व्युत्पत्ति सा एव योगः सो भक्ति योग इज व्हाट भक्ति इटसेल्फ इज योग दैट इटसेल्फ इज योग भक्ति इज इक्वल टू सो कर्म धारया तेन भक्ति योगेन इन थर्ड केस तेन भक्ति योगेन सेवते सो दिस इज इट इज फॉर द सेवते सेवन कर्म इट इज सेवन क्रिया फॉर सेवन क्रिया भक्ति योग इज एडवर्बियल सह व्हाट हैपेंस टू हिम सह गुणान समतीत्य अतीत्य मीनिंग नॉट जस्ट क्रॉसिंग ओवर सम 
some is there samya katitya means he'll never come back to the gunas that's the idea there etan yathoktan yathoktan samatitya etan yathoktan gunan etan which are these etan which have been discussed therefore yathoktan brahma bhuya what is brahma bhuya there bhavanam is bhuya bhavanam is bhuya and brahma bhuya is brahma bhavanaya bhavana is bhava brahma bhava that is the idea brahma bhavanaya meaning mokshaya finally that's the idea mokshaya kalpate kalpate means what samarthaha bhavati becomes capable becomes fit for attainment of moksha even that person if he is a karmi we have to understand in this case of karmi kramena in the case of yati the krama has culminated in the last ashrama that's the idea there okay next who wants to take the next one i can take um yeah. कुत एत उच्यते ब्रह्मणो हि प्रतिष्ठाहम अमृतस्य अमृतस्य व्यवस्य च शाश्वतस्य च धर्मस्य सुखस्य एकांतिकस्य च ब्रह्मस्य लास्ट श्लोक आहे इथे कुत एत इथे कस्मात कुत इस पंचम यर्चित असेल सो कुत कस्मात एत हाऊ इज इन कस्मात कारणात कस्मात हेतो दॅट इज एक्सप्लेन हिअर ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण हि प्रतिष्ठा अहम अमृत अव्यय चाश्वत चर्म से सुख से ऐकांतिक सो ब्रह्मण इज षष्टी एक वचन षष्टी एक वचन simple sentence anvaya vais it is aham brahmana pratishtaham aham brahmana pratishtaham aham bhavami parasmi i am and then all these will with cha they all aham amrutasya avyasya shashvatasya dharmasya sukasya ekantikasya cha brahmana he pratishta so he will go here and then all these are cha so with cha just nothing else to do just add it here all of these words with cha will go here so sarva pratishta that is the idea there sarva pratishta aham Sar- sarvasya pratishta aham if you want to have it in plural sarva has the meaning of plural embedded in it but if you want to include sarvesham pratishta aham whatever you can think of now this pratishtha brahmana hi pratishtha what does it mean brahma pratishtha here brahmana is parmatmanaha he he is yasmat so kutaha how so that is explained here with he therefore kutaha Kut, he is yataha yataha therefore kutaha so that is answered here since i am pratishtha what is pratishtha prati tishthati asmin iti pratishtha so bhagwan bhashyakara says that this is what kind of vyutpatti is this if you look at this what kind of vyutpatti would this be anyone adhikarane adhikarane vyutpatti so prati tishthati asmin iti pratishtha that is the vyutpatti there so now we know what it is so So that is why we get the meaning of support support is adhikarana that is the meaning of pratishtha there and who is that aham aham is pratyagatma 
So Brahma, the word is loaded. It can mean Saguna as well as Nirguna. Generally Nirguna, but sometimes Saguna. Ishwara also is loaded. Generally Saguna, sometimes Nirguna. In fact, this was a topic in Vichara Sagara today. Interestingly syncing up. So, therefore, Brahmana Pratishta is Paramatmanahi Pratishta is Pratyagatma. Very interesting. Pratyagatma is Satchidananda Brahma. If you look at this, <coughs> this will make a very <coughs> good case of Drishti Srishti Vada also. Anyway, let that be aside. <coughs> Kidrishasya Brahmana. What kind of Brahma? That Brahma is Amruta Brahma. <coughs> Amrutasya Avinashinaha. Amruta is Avinashi. That is why immortal. <coughs> you get the Im immortal is never destroyed. Therefore, Amruta means immortal. Avyayasya Pratishta. What is Avyaya? Avyaya is Avikarina. Now, this is a very good meaning. Okay, Avyaya is not indeclinable. Avyaya is that which does not change form, does not undergo any vikara. That is Avyaya. Even in Vyakrana, which does not undergo any vikara is Avyaya. If we say indeclinable, we think that there is no case meaning. But it has declined in a particular case and thereby retains that case meaning, but does not change form, therefore avikari. Avyasya means avikarinaha and shashvatasya. Shashvatasya meaning nityasya. Shashvata is nitya. And if you look at, uh, in fact, the next chapter continuing, we'll see. Ashwatha. Ashwatha is not Shashwatha. Because you see Ashwatha, although we say you know, Ashwatha, this Ashwatha Vruksha is so old. If you really analyze that Vruksha, it is a very good example for Samsara. It's a simile in the Upanishad. Ashwatha Vruksha is Samsara. Samsara is forever. That meaning holds good. We see, think that this Ashwatha Vruksha is so old, you know, even my grandfather, great grandfather has also seen this in a very same manner. However, if you look closely, this Vruksha has, Ashwata Vruksha is made up of so many elements. Even the trunk, trunk is not a single trunk. You see, you know, as if, you know, the intertwined branches have come together and as though they have made this trunk. It is actually appears to be Shashwata. It is not Shashwata. It is not Nitya. That Vruksha, you see, it is made up of small trunks, which appears to be huge. And the small trunks also, they, it is said that the trunks themselves have a short life. In comparison to the entire Vruksha, the trunks, the parts of the trunks, which intertwine with each other, they have a shorter lifespan. They, so it is there today, not there tomorrow. That kind of samsara, very flickery samsara. That's why the simile works both ways. Shashwata also, Ashashwata also. That is Ashwata, Ashwata Vruksha. But here Shashwatasya is Nityasya. So what do you have? Shashwatasya to Dharmasya. Dharmasya bhi Pratishta. Dharmasya Pratishta, what is Dharma? Dharmasya, Dharma Jnanasya. Dharmasya means Dharma is as revealed by Vedas. There is no other Dharma. We say there is universal Dharma, Ahimisa, but the most often broken is the universal Dharma. What kind of universal Dharma is it that you know but you don't follow? So it varies. Although it is universal, nobody wants to be hurt, but still people end up hurting others. That is the so-called universal Ahimsa Dharma. But Dharma is Dharma Jnana. As revealed by the Shruti, there is no other Dharma really. Universal Dharma, if you look at it, seems to be bogus. Because of Yuga change also, in Kali Yuga you see, Universal Dharma is no longer applicable. People do anything and everything, but they do not want Ahimsa for themselves. For others, it's okay. 
केयरलेस एटीट्यूड सो धर्म से धर्म ज्ञान धर्म ज्ञान से ज्ञान योग धर्म प्राप्य से सुख से आनंद रूप से ऑल दिस इज टिल सुख से धर्म धर्म से मीन्स धर्म ज्ञान इज इंक्लूडेड इन धर्म इन फैक्ट धर्म विदाउट दी ज्ञान एज रिवील्ड बाय वेद यू के नॉट अंडरस्टैंड धर्म इट इज वेरी सेटल्ड That's why even when revealed by the shastra also we need interpreters for dharma. Jnana yoga dharma prapyasya. And here we see jnana yoga, that kind of dharma which is prapya by through jnana. And jnana and yoga lead to. Uh, here it can be dwand dwand actually jnana yoga and dharma all can be included there and this sukha is prapya by jnana yoga dharma dharma is one part here which is dharma jnana and then once you follow it then you will have jnana also yoga also dharma also this word is quite loaded there are multiple ways to interpret it the more you can derive the meaning the more helpful it is we can take simpler meanings also or we can take it as individual also jnana take yoga separately and dharma separately dharma is really karma in the vedic context dharma dharma jnana will lead to dharma because dharma jnana in the context of karma kanda cannot be just jnana in fact it is shunned if a person learns how to do a particular karma and does not do it 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 is supposed to be you know supposed to be not prohibited per se but then the results are not good results of dharma jnana should lead to following of dharma therefore dharma in the vedika vedika context is karma vaidika karma so vaidika karma jnana is not sufficient it is it is a requirement to do karma and therefore one who has that adhikara has to do the karma then finally it will lead to jnana vaya yoga and dharma also this yoga if you take as samadhi also then jnana along with samadhi further yogika marga also included and dharma that one has followed as karma then taihi jnana yoga dharmaihi prapyasya sukhasya that sukha which is attained through jnana yoga dharma dharma will definitely lead to sukha no question about it because it will lead to punya punya will lead to sukha jnana also definitely will lead to sukha yoga also there is samadhi sukha there therefore all these through all this these are the means to attain sukha which sukha that sukha which is ananda roopa ananda roopasya sukhasya this is a meaning sukha meaning is ananda sukha is generally seen in the context of objectifiable sukha विषय सुख आनंद इज फ्री फ्रॉम विषय सुख यानी फ्री फ्रॉम विषय इट इज स्वरूप आनंद रियली व्हाट इज ऐकांतिक दैट विच हैज अ डेफिनेट अंत डेफिनेट सिंगल पॉइंटेड गोल ऐकांतिक सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट इट मींस अव्य विचारिण दैट विच विल नेवर चेंज यू विल डेफिनेटली लीड टू दैट कैंड ऑफ thing and bhagwan is pratishtha aham bhagwan here aham it has been said so pratyagatma sachidananda brahmatma is the pratishtha even for that aikantika guaranteed result he he is the guarantee guarantee you know if you say he or she whatever you want to say genderless it is really genderless atma has pulling a uh, pulling a gender इन व्याकरण बट वॉट इज दट आत्मा रियली प्रत्येक आत्मा ब्रह्म 
that is the pratishtha why is it aikantika why is it guaranteed because it is your own swarupa the swarupa can never change it is a guaranteed result everything can change everything can be anekantika but you yourself in swarupa are guaranteed you will always be the same so that is the aikantikatvam there now amrutaadi swabhavasya paramananda roopasya paramatmana pratyagatma pratishtha that is the idea starting with amruta amrutaadi here brahmano hi pratishtham amrutasya starting with this what does he say amrutaadi swabhavasya amruta is your own swabhava so why is it aikantika guaranteed is because amruta is your own swabhava avya is your swabhava shashvata is your swabhava dharma we see everything good is atma manifest everything bad is also atma manifest so adharma is also that way but then it will take you away from your swarupa therefore dharma itself can be really considered as one's own swarupa manifest sukha anyway sachit sukham sachit ananda therefore sukha is swarupa and thereby aikantika no one can change their own swarupa that is the end goal that is the end goal which is already attained every other attainment is figurative every other way in which it is said that the moksha is attained attainment is figurative it's one's own swarupa attainment real attainment is giving up attaining anything else any other status so pratyagatma pratishtha of so some basically it is it is that which is the support so to say support it is not really support pratishtha meaning everything is within therefore pratishtha samyak jnanena paramatma taya nischiyate this pratishtha shashvatasya cha dharmasya sukasya ekantikasya cha pratishtha further bhagwan bhashyakara says it is nischiyate it is ascertained by samyak jnanena through the right vision one knows one soon sorry swarupa as pratishtha for everything parmatma taya parmatma taya nischiyate samyak jnana is that i am that parmatma thereby parmatma pratishtha this pratyagatma pratishtha parmatmana pratishtha is samyak jnana parmatma taya nischiyate that is abheda there abheda between parmatma i am the pratishtha for parmatma meaning there is no bheda between him and me that is the idea there tade tat brahma bhuyay kalpate so brahma bhuyay kalpate iti uktam and that is said earlier as brahma bhuyay kalpate means one is samarto bhavati ityartha brahma bhavanaya brahma bhavaya समर्थो मीनिंग ऑफ ब्रह्म भूयाय कल्पते विच वॉज क्लोज इन दी अर्लियर वर्स श्लोका यया च ईश्वर शक्तिया भक्तानुग्रहादि प्रयोजनाय ब्रह्म प्रतिष्ठते प्रवर्तते सा शक्ति ब्रह्म एव अहम शक्ति शक्ति मतो हो अनन्यत्वाद अभिप्राय नाउ ही से यया च ईश्वर शक्तिया दैट ईश्वर शक्ति विच इज देर थ्रू विच ब्रह्म प्रतिष्ठते प्रवर्तते भक्तानुग्रहादि प्रयोजनाय सो ब्रह्म प्रतिष्ठते ब्रह्म प्रवर्तते ब्रह्म यूजिंग दैट शक्ति इट ब्लेसेस वी कैन जस्ट टेक अ सिंपलर मीनिंग ब्लेसेस भक्तानुग्रहादि प्रयोजनाय और इज इफ यू वांट टू से एंगेज आल्सो प्रवर्तते वी कैन टेक लिटरल मीनिंग ऑल्सो देर इज अ प्रवृत्ति प्रवृत्ति ऑफ ब्रह्म सगुण ब्रह्म सगुण ब्रह्म हैज अ प्रवृत्ति ईश्वर हैज अ प्रवृत्ति हाउ रियली ब्रह्म इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म 
has a pr pravritti. How is pravritti possible in that nirguna brahma? Pravritti would be a guna. That pravartanam would be a guna. It will make some change in the adhisthana. That change cannot take place. Therefore, maya has been brought in, which is Ishwara Shakti. Thereby, Ishwara Shakti means what? Brahma, when associated with Maya Shakti, gets the name Ishwara and thereby we call it as Ishwara Shakti. Because Brahma Shakti would be a little confusing, a little contradictory also. How can Brahma have Shakti? Brahma, main meaning of Brahma would be Nirguna Brahma. Even if you say Brahma Shakti, we have to understand as Brahma with Shakti, Adhyastha Shakti is Saguna Brahma or Ishwara. Through that Ishwara Shakti alone, one can, this Brahma can have Pravrutti even if it is for Bhaktanugrahadi Prayojana. Tadarthi Chaturthi. For the Prayojana, for the purpose of Prayojana itself has the meaning of purpose really. Prayojanaya. Prayojana is superfluous here. Not necessary to understand the meaning, but it makes it clear. For the purpose of the benefit, we can say for the purpose of the benefit of in the form of Anugrahityadi for the bhaktas, for the devotees. That Shakti is what? That Shakti is Brahma Eva. And that Brahma Eva means what? Aham Brahma Asmi, therefore Aham. That Shakti is also Aham. How? How so? Shakti Shakti Matoho Ananyatvat. Idi Abhipraya. The idea is. Due to the non-difference, ananyatvam, between what? Between Shakti and Shaktiman. You cannot separate out the Shakti and she the Shaktiman. There is a magician. He has some magical powers. And you introduce someone, he is my friend, he has magical powers. And this person is unable to show any magical power. Then what kind of magician is he? A magician comes along with the magical power. You cannot say that magical power, oh, now I do not have it. Then you are no longer a magician. Similarly, Agni, Agni, Agni and Ushna, that is the example. Shastri example is Ushnata is the Shakti of Agni. Tarkika says that Ushnata is the Guna in Agni. If Ushnata is the Guna of Agni, heat is the property of fire. Where have you seen it separately? Can you show me a property separately? How can you say it is a property? Even if you say property, it is just a word. Guna and Guni. Guna Guni Noho Abheda. This is the Siddhanta. Guna and Gunis are not different from each other because we have never seen them separately. Similarly, Shakti Shakti Matoho Ananyatva Tityavipraya. Brahma and Brahma Shakti cannot be said to be different. We use these words, but then you cannot show them as different. Athava, that's why para and apara. Para and apara, we have seen, is what? Bhagavan says, I am para as well apara. Athava, otherwise, what is the other possible? Brahma Shabda Vachyatvat Savikalpakam Brahma. Vachyatvat. Vachyartha of Brahma is Savikalpaka Brahma, Saguna Brahma. Nirguna Brahma is the Lakshartha. It is not the Vachyartha. Vachyatvat is Vachyarthatvat. Because Brahma Shabda, if what you understand by Brahma Shabda, if you take, analyze the meaning, the direct meaning cannot be Satchidananda Brahma. Because you cannot have the Tattva directly revealed by any word it will always be through lakshana implied meaning so brahma shabda vachyatvat vachyartha eva vachyartha savikalpakam brahma or saguna brahma bhavati tasya brahmana nirvikalpaka or nirguna brahma is what aham eva nanya pratishta ashraya who is the ashraya of that saguna brahma saguna brahma ashraya is nirguna brahma which is my real Swarupa. Ahameva. This is, now some people will think that this is blasphemy. It is not blasphemy. Aham is Shuddha Chaitanya. Aham, 
the vachyarth of aham can be what if you inquire into aham vachyartha is with the body mind sense complex which is the regular usage but if we inquire more and more into aham without see you cannot inquire into the tatpada as easy as it is with the aham aham is aham is sakshat sakshat brahma that therefore brahma is what sakshat brahma sakshat aparoksha meaning aparokshat brahma sakshat aparoksha there aparoksham brahma is aparoksha never never do you know never do you not know yourself you are always conscious of yourself therefore you are revealed to yourself by yourself you don't need anything else you don't need any karana to know that you are that is the real meaning of aham which is pratyagatma that pratyagatma is brahma what is the meaning of brahma shabda brahma is that which is without any kind of limitations that trivida parichheda shunya or rahita brahma is my own swarupa all that i have consider myself are through upadis if i have karna karna will become my upadi if i use my karna to understand myself be it as samadhi if i say oh i had samadhi in the antakarana i have sukha swarupa anubhava that upadi will become that that antakarana sukha roopa manifest will become my upadi which will create a division oh another does not have samadhi experience that person is away from me there by segmentation anything that will qualify me will become an adjective and will divide and limit me but aham pratyagatma the real meaning is without any limitation nanya pratishta ashraya there is no other possibility also for any one or anything else to be pratishta that has to be me i am the only one i am the in fact i am the only one because for in fact this is the tattva for everything else you need some other pramana that some other pramana pramana will also work only if i am there to use it i am the only one who is who i can be sure about everything else can be a lie but i cannot be a lie everything else can be doubted i cannot doubt my own existence therefore aham eva pratishtha na anya there is no one else really in fact in uh, vichara sagara the initial teaching is to the uttama adhikari who is called as tattva drushti there the question initial question as this prapancha what is this who is the pratishtha who is the aadhara and ashraya for this prapancha the guru answers you are the aadhara as well as ashraya for this prapancha that prapancha for whom the creator is saguna brahma who is the ashraya because prapancha has a prapancha karta here bhagwan bhashyakara says here interpreting what not much of interpretation already it has been said brahmana hi pratishtaham says bhagwan krishna he just expounding the thought and closing what has been the underlying current throughout gita so far kim vishishtasya amrutasya amarana dharmakasya avyasya vyairaitasya so if what we started off is lost he brings it back saying amruta is amarana dharma and avya is vyay rahita tasya brahmana because he has brought in athava if you say athava then the other things also have to be explained therefore he is bringing back whatever was explained earlier that holds good amrutasya can be taken as avinashina another way to say it is amarana dharma ka and avyasya avikari or vyay rahita same meaning किंच शाश्वत धर्म से ज्ञान निष्ठा लक्षण से सुख से तज्जनित सेम मीनिंग वॉट हेज बीन वॉट हिज टॉक अबाउट अर्लियर शाश्वत हेज ऑलरेडी बीन इंटरप्रिटेड एज नित्य एंड धर्म इज ज्ञान निष्ठा लक्षण धर्म बिकॉज फाइनली दिस इज वॉट यू हेव टू लैंड ऑन 
एंड सुखा इज वॉट तज्जनित मीन तज्जनित इज ज्ञान निष्ठा लक्षण धर्म जनित सुखा ऐकांतिक से एकांत नियत से दिस मीनिंग एकांत नियत से इट इज अ डेफिनेट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ डेफिनेट एंड दैट इज ऐकांतिक से प्रतिष्ठा हम वर्तते वर्तते अनुवर्तते देर इज अ दिस प्रतिष्ठा हम विल कंटिन्यू देर बिकॉज च इज देर यूर टू Just keep on saying pratishta, pratishta everywhere, or just add pratishta in the end. That's why this ellipse is here. It is Shrimad Paramahansa Parivraja ka chare Shri Shri Govind Bhagwat Pujya Pada Shishya Sya Shrimad Shankar Bhagwat Kurtao Shrimad Bhagwat Gita Bhashye Chatur Dashod Jaya. So fourteen chapter ends here, where the Bhashya also ends, created by Bhagwan Shankar Acharya, who is Shishya of. भगवान गोविंद भगवत पूज्य पाद हु वॉज श्रीमद परमहस परिवराजक चार्य परिवराजकाचार्य हु वॉज अय सन्यासी दट इज भगवान भाष्यकार टॉकिंग अबाउट ही इज ओन गुरु हु वॉज अ परम सन्यासी दट इज दोर्टीन चैप्टर कंटिन्यू इन दिफ्टीन चैप्टर पंचदशोध्याय This chapter is called Purushottam Yoga, and uh, in most ashrams, at least in Arsha Vidya Guru Kula Ashram, this cha- chapter is chanted at lunch completely and part of it at dinner. So you know, Swami Paramarthan Ji would joke, you know, if he uh, chants the Brahmaar Param Brahmavi Mantra also, which is chanted at lunch, and so he would say, you know. during this uh, if this is recalled then people get hungry especially those who have been in arsha vidya gurukula so just a joke there yasmat madadinam karminam karma phalam jnaninam cha jnana phalam atah bhakti yogena maaye sevante te mama prasadat jnana prapti kramena gunatita ha moksham gachanti किम वक्त आत्मन तत्व सम्यक भगवान अर्जुन अपृष्टोपी आत्मन तत्व विवक्षु उवाच ऊर्धमूल सो यस्माज ऑफ दिस रीजन वॉट इज मदीन कर्मिण षष्टी बहुवचन एंड कर्म फल कर्म फल फॉर कर्मी मददीनम कर्मिणाम कर्मफलम दिस कर्मफलम इज मददीनम द कर्मीज गेट द कर्मफल व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द कर्मफल दाता कर्मफल दाता दाता इज ईश्वर देयरफॉर इट इज डिपेंडेंट कर्मफल इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन अहम सेज भगवान दिस इज ईश्वर ईश्वराधीन Karmaphala is dependent on Ishvara, who of course does not give results by based on his own, you know, fancies. He gives not on biases. He gives based on the karma. Therefore, my karma will have an unf- unfailing result because I know that one who gives is not my boss at work. He is not, you know. you cannot polish him you know you cannot even if someone knows better than me which side of the bread to butter he does not care about it what he cares about is have you done your karma right or wrong if you have done it you will get the result therefore it is ishwaradhina karma phala jnana phala also similarly so jnana phalam cha jnani naam now this you can take with madadinam or not madadinam if you take it madadinam there much can also be taken as chaitanya then jnaninam jnana phalam madadinam is chaitanya adinam we can say ishara grants moksha which is fine by helping us undergo sadhana by revealing through ved vedanta what helps us attain ज्ञान फल सो देर वे ऑल्सो सगुण ब्रह्म इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल 
many mean multiple meanings are possible when it comes to jnana phala but karma phala is completely madadina meaning ishwara jina ataha therefore yasmat tasmat ata is asmat or tasmat since th this is the fact that jnana jnana phala and karma phala all phala we can just say phala is based on is dependent upon ishwara therefore bhakti yogena maye sevante te mama prasadat ज्ञान प्राप्ति क्रमेण गुणातीता सन्तः मोक्षम गच्छन्ति सो दे बिकम गुणातीता हाउ डू दे बिकम गुणातीता एंड अटेन मोक्ष ज्ञान प्राप्ति क्रमेण मम प्रसादात सो भगवान ग्रेस हैज टू बी देयर एंड देन दैट ग्रेस विल लीड अ पर्सन टू श्रवण मन निधि ध्यासन दैट इज ज्ञान प्राप्ति क्रम Bhakti Yoga will lead to Prasada, Ishwara Prasada. That Ishwara Prasada will lead to Guru and Shravana Manan Nididhyasana. Now, this being so, Kaimutika Nyaya is being mentioned here. Kimu Vaktavim Atmanah Tattvameva Samyak Vijanantha. Those who know the Atma Tattva. What about them? They will definitely get moksha that need not be talked about so some may appear you know they have not done bhakti yoga but suddenly they have got this jnana prapti how because this has been done in earlier janma thereby they have directly gone to jnana prapti krama and thereby atma tattva atmana tattva atma tattva samyak vijananta those who have a doubtless understanding right and doubtless understanding with conviction of atma tattva which is brahma tattva ityataha therefore therefore bhagavan arjunena aprushto api this does not start with arjuna arjuna vacha he has no questions he not that he does not have any questions but he didn't ask a question even without being asked bhagavan is starting a new topic new topic it appears as if new topic but the what is a continuation atmana tattvam samyak vijanantah they will attain moksha ityatah bhagavan arjunina aprushto api aprushta bhagavan one who has not been asked is karmani we have seen last time karmani vitpatti but stands for bhagavan who is the karta in the sentence but the shabda is karmani vitpatti aprushta api anasked Bhagavan who has not been asked by Arjuna, that kind of Bhagavan is unasked. Question has not been asked, but still he, he is vivakshu. He is vaktum vichu. He wants to answer. What does he want to uh, talk about? He wants to talk about the Atmana Tattum. Atmana Tattum vaktum vichu. He is interested to speak about, intending to speak about Atma Tattva, thereby Vacha. What Urdhva Mulam Ityad, Urdhva Mulam Adashaka Ityad. Tatra Tavata, first of all, what does he do with that idea in mind? Vruksha Rupaka Kalpanaya Vairagya Hetuho Samsara Surupam Varnayati. He takes this Vruksha Rupaka Kalpana. Kalpana has this Vruksha as a Rupaka. Rupaka is there is a Vruksha form. It can, Kalpana can be in any which way. Multiple ways, one of them is Rupaka Kalpana. You bring about some form and compare. Through that, Samsara Swarupam Varnayati. He describes the Samsara Swarupa. What, what is the nature of Samsara? Why does he do that? Vairagya Hetoho. Vairagya Hetoho is Heto, heto Panchami has the word hetu itself sitting there like we had prayojanaya earlier in the earlier part we had prayojanaya in bhashya here we have hetu because it should lead to vairagya samsara swarupa if you know then it will necessarily lead to vairagya pariksha lokan says the mundaka upanishad pariksha lokan karma chitan brahmano nirveda maya nirveda is vairagya there so, Vairagya Hetu, Samsara, if you do Pariksha of Samsara, then it 
it has to lead to vairagya and then once once has virakti vairagya viraktasya hi samsarat bhagavat tattva jnane adhikarah ananyasya iti why does samsara swarupa bhagavan describe why does he describe samsara swarupa because it should lead to vairagya okay why should one you know be led to vairagya because only when vairagya is there which is viveka driven this is the sadhana drushte sampatti viraktasya hi purushasya sadakasya kasmat virakta samsarat viraktasya one who has virakti from samsara that kind of person alone has adhikarah in bhagavat tattva jnana in the reality of bhagavan what is the real nature of bhagavan why do i need to know that because bhagavan's nature is not different from me he appears to be one among the triad i need to know what the jagat is i need to know who is a jagat karta ishwara and i need to know who i am really but then you start inquiring into one you end up understanding everything ekena jnanena sarvam nyatam bhavati to e chandogya says it so bhagavat tattva if you understand that is atma tattva that is also understanding of jagat because adishthana jnana adishthana jnanena adhyastha jnanam bhavati adhyastha because adhyastha samsara is adhyastha and adhyasa is nothing but adishthana appearing as adhyasa if you try to understand what is sarpa which is rajju sarpa it is nothing but rajju there is no sarpa at all so if you start inquiring into bhagavat tattva who is the jagat karana then jagat is also understood as non different from bhagavat tattva who is that bhagavan i am that therefore all three in the triad get resolved by inquiring into one in tattvamasi mahavakya also you start analyzing tat it lands on tom because when you land on one part of bhagavan which is the real nature one part in the tat pada part being only vyavaharika usage if you discard that as being upadi then what you land on is your real nature so oh, bhagwan exist i do exist bhagwan is chaitanya i am also chaitanya bhagwan is ananta oh i am not sure whether i am ananta what about the body is that body you without the body do you exist yes then can you exist without the without any body yes i can that is the anantyam body has limited you then why do you associate the limitations of body with yourself without the body limitations you exist without the body then without the body like in shushupti or samadhi avastha you exist without the body then why do you accept the body limitations when you do know that you can exist without the body so there is a possibility of my being ananta without the body thereby bhagwan is ananta i am also ananta there is no difference at all you inquire into bhagavat tattva you land in the jnana that i am that who has this adhikara viraktasya eva therefore vairagya hetu samsara swarupam varnayati that is the beginning of the shloka beginning of the 15th chapter na anyasya iti shri bhagavan uvacha ऊर्धमूलमदशाखम अश्वत्थम प्राहुरव्यय छंदांसी ये पर्णा हस्त वेद स वेद वि अदशाखम अश्वत्थ अश्वत्थम इज व्हाट ऊर्धमूला एंड अदशाखा बौरी दैट व्हिच हैज ऊर्धमूला ऊर्ध्व मीनिंग द रूट इज अपवर्ड्स एंड अदशाखम शाखा इज डाउनवर्ड्स 
you can see you know you see ashwatha vriksha its roots you can see it's kind of above the ground it may run deep but then you see the roots above that is literal but here it is not literal what do you see further you see other shakha the the uh, what do you say the uh, ashwatha has these roots also if you see roots are above in another sense that from the branches you see you know, strings kind of string roots coming down but branch the if you take the meaning as an inverted tree as though an inverted tree then the roots are above above meaning that which you cannot see really subtle mula is karana in samsara you see the shakha they are visible but then you don't see the root of that samsara you see the samsara vruksha everything objectifiable is samsara vruksha but its root you do not know you don't know its karana karana is not visible karya is visible karana is subtle it is not visible that is the simile with ashwatha prahu hu they say ashwatha is urdhamula and adashaka it is avyaya and what is the comparison with this this ashwatha chandamsi yasya paranani the leaves are chandas chandamsi yasya paranani further yaha tam veda sah veda vid one who knows this ashwatha vruksha samsara how along with its root one can't just say okay i know the shakha i don't know the moola then you don't know ashwatha if you want if you want to know the tree you have to know it along with its root meaning along with the karana karya should be known along with the karana otherwise you don't know the tree you know only the branches if you know the tree then you should know along with you know you should know its leaf also everything you should know that is the entire tree and okay if you know everything above the ground there in the case of the literal vruksha you don't know the roots here if you dig also you will not find because it is urdhva it is subtle in the example the roots are visible above if you try to dig more you may be able to see the root it runs quite deep and wide oh i know yeah i know this root but still if the root is urdhva you will not know what is the urdhva subtle it is not clearly seen it has to be known in the sampradaya really samsara vruksha can be known only in as revealed by shruti one who knows that completely is vedavit chandamsi is what vedas yasya paranani the leaves are chandas chanda meaning is veda there thereby you start knowing you know if those who uh, study biology especially botany you know they have an expertise you look at a leaf and you say what kind of a tree it is the trunk may appear similar of many trees the trunk you know parts of the trunk may appear similar if not all, not everything is seen but a part a leaf a small leaf just a leaf can tell you what kind of a tree it is so vedas are parnas are like leaves that reveal the entire tree along with the karana so that's the example there shakam ashwatha prahu avyayam avyayam prahu chandam sisi parnani yah tam veda sa veda vit order is more or less okay just a few i mean avyayam can be shifted here before prahu otherwise it's in order
So I'll just look at this line. We'll look at this later. Urdhva Moolam. Kalataha Sukshmatvat. Urdhva Moolam. Kalataha Sukshmatvat. Karanatvat. Nityatvat. Mahatvatcha Urdhva. Why Urdhva? I just mentioned subtle. Here it is. Sukshma. Karanatvat. Also Karana. Therefore, called as Moola. And then Nityatvat. Being Nitya. If you look at it, you cut a tree. Cut a tree is generally plants. You cut it, but then roots are there. It can grow again, especially weeds, you know. If you don't uproot the weeds, you want to clean, you know, I want my garden as, you know, very nicely maintained. I don't want these weeds coming up. So you start cutting the weeds. But if you cut the weeds, if the roots are there, they'll come up. So Karana, if Karana continues, Karana, Karanatva, Nitya, the Moola continues, even if you fell the tree, the root can continue the existence of the tree. It can come up again. So Nitya Tvat, Mahatvacha Urdhvam. Here it is, Karana is Brahma. And that Brahma is Nitya in the exemplified. And Brahi Vriddha, therefore Mahat also, huge. Urdhvam, therefore Urdhvam. Because what is, what is important? Mahat will be above. Mahat also has a meaning of importance. It will be Urdhva, said to be above. You know the above authority, authority above someone. That kind of Urdhvam. Uchyate, Prahu Uchyate, Brahma. Avyaktam Maya Shakti Mat. Avyaktam, this Avyakta Brahm Maya Shakti Mat. Who has Maya as its Shakti? Tat Mula Masya Iti Soyam Samsara Ruksha Urdha Mula. Bauri. Bauri is explained there. That kind of Mula, Avyakta Brahma, is Mulam Asya. That kind of Mula, this samsara vruksha has, therefore, ayam samsara vruksha urdha mulaha uchyate. Shrutescha, and then Shruti is quoted, urdha mulo vakshaka eshoshvatha sanatanaha. So, Kata Upanishad gives this with a slight change, you know. Instead of adashaka, there is avakshaka. Adha and avak have the same meaning as below. Esha Ashwatta Sanatana Iti and Puranecha. What, what the Purana says, we'll see in the next part. It is a little longer. We'll stop here. We'll continue in the next part. Sukhanityam sa prakasham vyapakam nam rupyo adhishthanam buddhya bhutim buddhya rukit nirvalam aparam sar vedanta vedyam pratyak paramata devahan vakti. So this is a daily class memory. This is the Mangala Charana for the uh, any Mangala Charana is okay for us. Every, any Mangala Charana for Advaitins, that's not a problem at all. Everything is fine. So, anyway, but uh, we have the Mangala Charana of the Grantha for a specific, for Vishesha. So, Vishesha Anugra, we tap by. Uh, particular Mangala Charana. Others are generally fine anyway. And general anyway includes Vishesha. So no issues there either. Any questions? I had a question. So in that um, 27th shloka, the last shloka, 14th chapter, when this part is coming, Shakti Shakti Matoho Ananyatvat Iti Abhiprayaha. So here my question is, uh, you're taking the comparison between uh, Agni and uh, heat. Yeah. So it, here, Agni and heat is uh, Brahman and Ish, Brahma and Ishvara, or or. No, so Agni or... and heat means Brahma and Brahma Shakti, or Ishvara and Ishvara Shakti. So Ishvara Shakti, Ishvara is Agni in the example, and Shakti is Maya, right? So in the example, it is Ushna, heat. Heat is the, see, heat is the uh, Shakti of fire, right? Mm. 
So Maya is Shakti of Ishwara. Are they different? We cannot see Ishwara. What kind of Ishwara would Ishwara be without the Maya Shakti? Would be Nirguna Brahma. He cannot be called as Ishwara. It cannot even become He. Only by association with Maya Shakti gets the name as Ishwara. Therefore, uh, Agni also, if you take away, you know, yeah, I have fire, but it, it will not give you in heat. Then it is not fire. Okay. So that example will hold only for e, when Maya is also there. I mean... So it will hold only for Ishwara. It will hold only for Ishwara. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, what I was also wanting to know is when we say uh, that the uh, when we say that the uh, rope is there uh, and the and the likeness of the rope to the snake, the likeness is not an aspect of the rope, but it is also an aspect of the snake itself, right? I mean, of avidya itself. The similarity, or, or, likeness with similarity of of the rope to the snake is not the fault of the rope at all. It has nothing to do with the nature of the rope. It is, it is Avidya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so much so, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, this is analyzed in Vichara Sagara quite deeply. Uh, and uh, uh, further elsewhere also, I read it. I don't remember where. I think maybe in Vichara Sagara itself later or somewhere. I don't know. Uh, maybe in Tippana or something. Uh, I don't remember where it has been uh, analyzed, mostly in Vichara Sagara and something related in that context I may have read somewhere. I don't know. The, the question raised is one of the one of the uh, things which cause a bhranti is the similarity that you brought up. But mm. then that similarity is not needed because elsewhere something appearing as something else, there is no similarity at all. Uh, an example is taken. Uh, I don't remember the example right now, but then there are places where Bhranti is there, but then what kind of Bhranti has no connection to the... There is no similarity at all. Something appears as something else, there is no similarity at all. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Then why does it happen? So it is actually discounted. Generally, it is said, yes, rope and snake have similar features, but they need not have similar features. It is thrown to the Purva Paksha. It is, you know, this kind of a, uh, okay. we okay. analyze it and we accept it notionally. But then if you analyze deeper, then you say it is not needed at all. By giving an example where such, even a single example can prove, which can prove that although there is no similarity, still there can be a Bhranti. I'll uh, try to uh, recall the example or look up somewhere, but this uh, is refuted. Generally, it is okay, but I recall it when you specifically mentioned that similarity of avidya and then answer given is because of avidya. And what is that avidya? Again and again, you have samskara of seeing Raju as Sarpa or as Bhuchidra or as Danda. This has been going on Anadi Kalin. Therefore, why does the shell appear as silver only? Or why, why doesn't the rope appear as silver? Why doesn't the shell appear as a snake? Not because of similarity. It is said, it is because avidya works in this manner. You have always had this bhranti and that bhranti continues. And this has Mandukya's, Karika's basis as well. Karika Kara says that. He says, there is no seed and sprout kind of continuity at all. Even if we accept it notionally, there is nothing like that. He says all this is Bhranti and that Bhranti, why? Because you always had that Bhranti. Because it is Anadi. There was never a point of time when you did not have Bhranti. And how was the Bhranti? Why, or why should you have similarity? Similarity need not be a factor at all. He says if you have a samskara of something appearing as, some, as something else, it will keep on appearing to be like that. Unless removed, unless there is Jnana, Avidya will cause havoc. It will make you deluded. The way you have been deluded. That's all. It's a very simple answer. You know, it's a law of parsimony. Very simple answer. Because you have always seen it like that. You know, you know, we, we say, because I've always seen my friend as my friend, he remains my friend. 
So if you keep on seeing someone or something as something else, you keep on continuing to do unless it is set right, it will be like that. Why should there be similarity? He says, in fact, why should you and you and why should you even analyze and look for similarities? No necessity. If it is agreeable to you that something appears in some manner, why is is not important at all? If you know that if something has happened in a particular manner, it can continue again or it can reappear in the same manner. That's all it is. That is avidya. It. And that's why, you know, this history repeats itself kind of a thing. I found it very interesting, an interesting argument there. Because it, uh, you need not inquire into details and then think that, okay, what is the similarity between Chaitanya and this Jagat? Why does the Jagat appear? What is the similarity between Chaitanya and Jagat? You need not analyze. Even if you analyze, you, you will land on, oh, Satta. But Satta, there is no similarity, in fact. There is no satta or the other end at all. It is borrowed satta. So the real answer is that. Real answer is because it has been so. Why has it been so? Because it was there earlier to that. Just like the seed and the sprout. Because why, why, uh, uh, you know, why does a uh, uh, Ashwata Vruksha come from a Ashwata Bija? Because it has it has all if you try to analyze can scientists answer it really why it has come from uh, the ashwatha vruksha therefore the bija will lead to ashwatha vruksha this can be a convincing answer to some but why should it be so all the whys cannot be answered so therefore a simpler way to look at it is because that's how it is it has been so it continues to be so why cannot be answered need not be answered there. Similarities need not be there. So okay. I like that when you said avidya due to avidya. Yes, it is not the rope, rope's fault at all. Okay. Okay. Anything else? This uh, Ashwatha tree, it's not banyan, no? In English, what do you call it? I think... Uh, I'm not sure. So tell people, people tree, banyan tree. Is it yeah, the same? Just I mean, I, I have a trouble with uh, English names and verses. Yeah. Is uh, Aladmara same or? <laughs> no, this is Ashwatha is a fig tree. So, fig. And then you, so I think multiple is this thing is possible. Then. Uh, the botanical name is uh, Ficus religiosa. So that is Ashwatha. Mm. Uh, there is no other English meaning. It does not say uh, given English meaning other than that. It is only the, the only known non botanical name in uh, the dictionary is fig tree, specifically holy fig tree. I'm not so, sure. I mean, if, if, if Pippala is also there. Of Pippala, uh, there are uh, other words also in Sanskrit or in other languages. But uh, English, English people is used. People tree. As I people said. tree. Yeah, people tree is right. People. People. people in Hindi right. also is people tree. But English uh, is uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. What other than fig tree? No, to understand this analogy. Uh, yeah. Are we saying that, uh, like in banyan tree, is my imagination that the the like you won't know where the tree really began because it can have aerial roots and then yeah, uh, yeah. roots. So is is that the same one? Are we saying we don't know the root of samsara and that is why it is like a banyan tree because you don't know because okay, okay. You see, again as I'll tell you as. It need not be. It need not be exactly that. You know, Bhagwan Bhaskara somewhere says it is this samsara is like a banana tree, banana plate. Plain. Amazingly brilliant example. He says why? He says because it is uh, asaraha. He says kadli uh, kadli stambavat asaraha. He says samsara has no sara at all. 
has no essence at all if you cut the uh, trunk of a banana plant you can you use it as wood you cannot you know generally other trees you can use the wood you cannot use this as it is asar you cut it it will rot not necessarily rot but it will be it will just wither away it has no strength at all and inside there is it is very soft it it can be used as a vegetable or you know for some kind of a sweet we we make some sweets using the uh, stem of the uh, the inner part of the banana uh, plant yeah we like even if it grows as a uh, tree it is not going to be of any use beyond that so asara so whether it is banyan tree or you know fig the way the example works you hold on to that it's it, if you see that the example works in with a banyan tree that's sufficient enough no i particularly i'm not so i mean i, I don't consider uh, it should be exactly that no you should use only that tree because it says that tree all these are ways to explain the, there is uh, there, there is no comparison possible otherwise it is only to drive home a point and if you can land on on the point using a, be it a coconut tree or a plantain or a, a ashwatha be it a fig or banyan tree people it does not matter to me it does not matter i would not be so literal and you know you no know, it has to be that tree how can you compare with the, there are people you know who will say you know how can you say any other tree it has to be this ashwatha only comparison has to be only ashwatha need not be but we'll see in the bhashya we'll see more as to why so and uh, what is each part and then purana also explains a little more so uh, we get more details in this shloka so if it fits in with your banyan tree you consider that okay yeah okay thanks namaste namaste namaste